Hello everyone, happy to see you here and really great relaxing challenge for us today. We have 9 divided by 3 and we multiply this by 1 plus 3 in parentheses. On the first side this is like a very easy question, we have division, multiplication, addition, this is not like a hard math operation, everyone knows this operation like from the third grade, everyone learns this stuff in the third or fourth grade, everyone knows about it, we have like not a huge number, we have 9, 3, 1, 3, so it's not like a complicated expression with thousands, we have only 9, 3, 1 and 3, so it's, it's really great. So right now I suggest you to pause the video and try to solve it by yourself, right here we have three options, and right now I suggest you to pause the video and try to solve it by yourself, what do you think is the correct answer? So three options and really easy question, it's really great to check our answers here in just one minute, because right now I'm going to solve this question and I swear it's really interesting and tricky question. So I start, I am going to start to solve this, so we have like 9 divided by 3, and in parentheses 1 plus 3. Right now let's look at it in another perspective. So we have division sign, we have multiplication sign and we have parentheses. So we have three, three maybe steps, I would say this is like steps. We can easily start from division, multiplication, then parentheses, so from left to right. In another hand we can easily start from multiplication, division, parentheses, or another combination, maybe we need to start from parentheses, multiplication, division, so as you can see a lot of combinations right here, but in mass we interested like in one a correct solution, because we cannot like solve one question with with three different uh, answer and uh, they will say that this is correct answer. Yeah, we cannot do that like that. We need to know what is the correct order to do this problem. If we choose a correct order, we can easily say that if this is a correct answer. But what is the correct order of operation? For this question, I have this. Uh, let's look at this PMDMC order of operation. This is the most popular order of operation in the world. All internet libraries, scientific graph and calculator works according to PMDMC. And I I choose PMDMC. I will solve this question. A according to PMDMC, because a lot of countries solve it like that, a lot of uh, different internet libraries solve it like that, I learn how to solve it like that, I use this PMDMC every time and I choose PMDMC, but I want to I want to mention that there are, there are a lot of interest, different interesting methods, like board math, uh, not method, like order of operation, yeah, board math and a lot of interesting different methods and a lot of countries um, solve it in their own way and I respect every order of operation because all the people in, all the, people in the world are different, so you can easily choose whatever you want, order of operation, and I respect every opinion about it, but I but I explained why I chose PMDMC. Okay, here is our question, so we have 9 divided by 3, and in parentheses we have 1, 1 plus 3. So let's look at this in the perspective of PMDMC. So this PMDMC works from the top to the bottom, and let's look at it. What is the first step? The first step is parentheses, yeah? So now we need to look at it, and then now we need to find parentheses. So let's look at it. So 9 divided by 3, yeah, we have parentheses, so 1 plus 3 is our uh, per expression in parentheses. So we have parentheses, but we are already solved this. So 1 plus 3, it's really easy, because right now we have 9 divided by 3, and times, uh, I write multiplication sign, so 1 plus 3 equal to, equal to, equal to 4. Yeah, equal to 4. Okay, let's go to the next step. So as you can see, nothing hard. Just start from parentheses every time, and I would say, like, whatever order of operation in the world, or doesn't matter what order of operation in the world, all the time parentheses at first. Maybe sometimes the orders, but in our case, let's look at this in the perspective of parentheses, yeah? So let's go to the next step. The next step is exponents. So let's look at it, where do we have our squares, cubes right here, maybe, no, I don't see any of those, so we don't have this, and so we just skip this part. We don't have any exponents, we just skip this part. Let's go to the next step. The next step, multiplication, and a lot of students do this common mistake, they say, okay, multiplication, then we need to multiply it first. But with one really interesting note, we need to look at it as a group, so multiplication and division, this is one common group right here, so we need to look at it as a group. We need to find where do we have multiplication and division signs, let's look at it. So division sign we have right here, and multiplication is the next with this division, so it's really great. Moreover, we don't have addition and subtraction, so we just skip this part, we have only multiplication and only division. But here is maybe the main question, because a lot of discussion about it, a lot of discussion in the world about it, multiplication first, then division, or division first, then multiplication. It's really interesting question, but I explained before why I chose PMDMC, because according to PMDMC, doesn't matter what order of operation 
operation you will have the first because you need to start from this order of operation. This pin BMC works from the left to right and we need to scan what is the first sign from left to right. This is like the main rule we in PMDMC. We need to scan what is the first sign from left to right. Doesn't matter. Division, multiplication, multiplication, division. We choose the first sign from left to right. In our case, division is the first sign from left to right. So we have like 9 divided by 3 equal to 3 and 3 times 4 equal to equal to 12. This is option. Option C. This is our, our solution. But I want to say that I respect every order of operation. For example, in your country, you need to multiply it first. Then I respect it. It's it's really great. This is up to you. How can you solve it? And uh, I, my explanation for this is the next, because all the people in the world are different. Uh, all countries solve it in their own way. Mathematics are maybe the same overall, but in, in every country, as you can see, a little bit different is differences with this, but it's really great. This is the mass and I hope you, you understand my explanation. I choose PMDMC. Correct answer is option C for me and for, for, for most countries, but I hope you, you solve it correctly as well, because um, a lot of internet uh, libraries solve it like that. And thank you for your time. I hope you understand this explanation. So see you in the next videos. I hope you understand this and have a great day.